this is a most remarkable, oh boy, I don't like the smoke over here, hold up. All right, we're gonna to tend to that fire, let's see what happens. I would just like to explain a few things before we begin. The stones which we were invited to take, Allison and Mark ask that as you hold them during the ceremony, that you bless them, you put your wishes on them, good thoughts, energy, hopes and dreams for them and hold them tightly during the ceremony. You will be asked to give them back. There will be pens on the table where you pick them up. You can write a small word, um, whatever you can fit on your stone, and that they would be most grateful that it would be your gift back to them. Not the stones per se, as you can well imagine, but it is your blessings, your wishes, your hopes and prayers. Now, if you are unfamiliar with the labyrinth, lots of people tell me, oh sure, I know labyrinths. You know, I walked that corn labyrinth down in Southern Illinois. That was probably a maze. There is a big difference between a labyrinth and a maze. A maze has dead ends, wrong turns. It is designed to make you lose your way. That's its intention. A labyrinth, on the other hand, has no dead ends, no wrong turns. There is a single path. And Allison and her children are standing right over by that single path, the entrance. A labyrinth is designed to help you find your way. It is a metaphor for our lives. If you look at the labyrinth pattern, there are well, it's a circle, but there's relatively straight just, and then there'll be all sorts of twists and turns. Now, Allison and Mark will individually walk the labyrinth as they enter the circle. It is meta, a metaphor, a symbol of their individual life journeys up until this point. Sometimes their path will lead them close to the center, and sometimes a path will pull them back out such is the nature of life. Sometimes we get very close to our goals and then sometimes life happens and we're kicked right back. But it is, once again, a metaphor. And they have chosen to commit to each other to become married on the lab and because of its symbolic and metaphorical meaning. It was such a delight to talk to them at the beginning when we first started to formulate how this was going to happen because they understood the power and the meaning of a labyrinth. Does that make sense? So what we're going to do, we're just about to get ready. Mark will enter the labyrinth first and then a little bit later Allison and you all are invited to watch. And then a little bit along the way, I'll invite you all to come in closer and gather around them. So with that being said, Allison and Mark, are you ready? Always technical difficulties. You futz with that, I'll futz with the fire, okay?
I would like to invite all of you to take a good deep breath. Use all of your senses to see, to listen, to feel. You are close as a girl can be to ideal. Somehow you disagree. The whole world sees perfection, but all you see is room for more and room. Silly girl, pretty girl, do you not see? What a spell your sweet love's cast on me, girl, I pray it never will. This trance be broken. I'm now in your mouth when you talk to me. I wanna kiss you so slow, so sweet You are the book that I want to read And bring cover to cover Girl, you're so deep inside your mind D and A, yo, how tall I am Yo, how much I weigh, yo, the reason someone had to pen the phrase to know her is to love her and I love her. Silly girl, pretty girl, do you not see what a spell your sweet love's cast on me? And girl, I pray it never will. This trance be broken. Silly girl, pretty girl, do you not see what a spell your sweet love's cast on me in the rock world? It never will. This trance be broken. Oh girl, I pray it never will. This trance be broken. Sometimes their life paths have brought them close together, and then sometimes their life pulls them farther apart. i 
All that you waited for Time slips to nothing and I'm better than I've been Sometimes the U-turns in life make us a little dizzy and throw us off balance I don't
When you feel the dark inside you And the wind waves keep pushing you down Feel the whole world pulling you around Let me be your lighthouse Let me guide your hand Let me be your shelter For you And yes, their life's journey finally leads them to this place and space at this time, at this night, with each and every one of you here, all wishing and hoping and desiring love, amazing, amazing commitment, faithfulness, goodness, joy even amidst the struggles and pains. Everything that happens on a labyrinth is a metaphor. And now we begin in prayer. Oh, amazing, mysterious, and gracious God, you have brought Mark and Allison together because you are love. Scripture tells us this and we know that it is true. God is love. And those who abide in love abide in God and God abides in them. It is not as if you love, Holy One, as if you could do something other than love. But you are love. And so we know and trust and feel your presence because it is love, you, who has brought Mark and Allison and the children together. And because, Holy One, you are love. Allison told me the sweetest story I've ever heard, I think, about the love that her dad had has for Mark. We know that her father is in some mysterious way so aware and so happy, as is her mom, whom we wish could be here this night. But love knows no time, no boundaries of time or space. So anyone who loves these two beautiful people, well, they're here. And we believe this to be true. So, Holy One, we give thanks for Mark and Allison and all these good people in this gorgeous evening in your chapel forever and always. Amen. So, Mark, will you accept Allison as your wife to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her as a person, respect her as an equal, and be faithful to her for as long as you both shall live. And if so, please respond, I will. I will. Allison, will you accept Mark as your husband to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him as a person, respect him as an equal, and be faithful to him for as long as you both shall live? Please, if so, please respond, I will. I go. And now I kind of forgot. I would like to invite all of you, if you'd like to come closer, step inside the candles and come on and gather around. It's warmer when we 
huddled together. Dear friends, let us love one another because love comes from God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. And God showed his love for us by sending his only son into the world so that we might have life through him. This is what love is. It is not that we have loved God, but that he has loved us and sent his son to be the means by which our sins are forgiven. Dear friends, if this is how God loves us, then let us love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in union with us, and his love is made perfect in us. Thank you very much. Alison Mark, I don't think I'm ever going to forget either one of you because of what you have chosen to do here, do here tonight. But of course, it isn't just the labyrinth. It is your obvious love for each other. But choosing to commit to one another, to be wedded on the labyrinth, you have given a visible sign of the reality of life. That life sometimes has its easy times, and life sometimes has its hard times. But life continues, and life always opens to new life. This night, you are beginning and creating a new commitment to one another, a new family. Your children, Aaron, okay guys, I'm gonna go. I don't wanna forget anybody. It's Petra and Baron, and Ryan and Brian and Keelan. You are here standing with your mom and dad, witnessing to their commitment. And I can tell you as a parent myself, it world to them. To have all of your friends here, your family members, to witness, to be willing to come out on a cool evening in a very strange place and experience something that none of us have actually experienced before. Kudos to you all. But of course, it's much more just tonight. Your commitment rooted in love is a commitment for life. When you meet the one true love of your life, yes, there will be hard times, there will be struggles, but you manage them together. And who knows, maybe in about 40 years, when you two come back to renew your wedding vows on the labyrinth once again, you will know that life, while sometimes may not be easy, you will know that love is true. And love is worth everything. But of course, none of you came to hear me talk. You came to listen and witness to their love. Why don't you face each other? I, Mark, take you, Allison, as my one true love, as my heart's companion and spouse. I pledge to you my devotion as your husband and honesty as your friend. I promise to nurture our relationship so that we retain our separate identities yet ours one. I pledge to you this special day my most deep hearted love, love of body, mind, and soul. 
that only we can share. Most of all, I vow to further our love and understanding of each other. This day I give you my heart. I, Allison, take you, Mark, as my one true love, as my heart's companion and spouse. I pledge to you my devotion as your wife and honesty as your friend. I promise to nurture our relationship so that we retain our separate identities that are as one. I pledge to you this special day. I pledge to you this special day. My most deep hearted love. I love your body, mind, and soul. That only we can share. Most of all, I vow to further our love and understanding of each other. This day, I give you my heart. Allison, these are the hands of your best friend that are strong and vibrant with love that are holding yours your wedding day as he promises to love you all the days of his life. And Mark, these are the hands of your best friend, smooth and carefree, that are holding yours on your wedding day as she promises to love you all the days of her life. Mark and Allison, the love already shared by your hearts has been strengthened by the vows that you have taken. You will be bound by your love as you are bound by your clasped hands from now until the end of your days. These are the hands that both passionately love you and cherish you throughout the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as you build your future together. These are the hands that will hold you whenever illness, fear, or grief may find you. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. These are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours. Bless these hands. May they always reach out with love, gentleness, and respect. May they build a loving relationship that lasts a lifetime. May they always be held by one another. And when you follow these words and heed this sacred binding, your hands will heal, protect, shelter, and guide. Amen. And now, Rachel. Nope. Okay. I have them. Um, you have them. Holy One, your love and your life is eternal. May these rings be assigned to Allison and Mark. As a past and a present and a future lived in and through you. Bless these symbols of love and may they remind Allison and Mark of your wondrous presence and their commitment to each other forever and always. And now, Mark, will you put that ring on Allison's finger? Will you please say, with this ring, I be wed? Right. 
with this name I be led. Allison and Mark, we have heard you promise to share your lives in marriage and we recognize and respect those vows you have made here this day before all of us as a witness in the honesty and sincerity of what you have said and done here this night. And in accordance with the laws of the state of Illinois, it is my honor and delight to declare you henceforth to be husband and wife. <laughs> Those whom love has joined together, let no person separate. You may seal your vows with a kiss. <laughs> and now let us pray the prayer that Jesus has taught us. Our Father. And now, if you would, would you raise your hand in blessing? Mark and Allison, may the love you know today fill your lives with joy, peace, and gratitude. May the love you discover tomorrow be shared with all who are welcomed into your home. May the love that upholds the two of you into a ripe old age be a love that transcends time and space and continues on into eternity. And may you always know the blessings of the Holy One who loves you more than you can imagine. Amen. And now, I would like to introduce to all of you, for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Mark and Allison Moran. Understand there's some hot chocolate in.